Octavia's Cutie Mark by Fast Hack. A few years ago, when Octavia was a little filly, she was thinking about how she would get her cutie mark. She was the only one in her class not to get her cutie mark. She kept talking to herself on her long walk home. I'll never get my cutie mark. She mumbled to herself. The next day, she looked for an instrument she wanted to play. So she goes to the music store and looked for an instrument. So she tries to play the guitar. She says... I'm going to be good at this. She goes home and starts to play it, and she gets frustrated because she can't play the guitar. Then she goes to the music store and returns the guitar, and she tries the violin. She goes home and tries to play it, and she is good at it, and her mom says, Wow, sweetie, you're good at playing that. Then Octavia says to her mom, I want to play one a little bigger. The next day, she goes to the music store and returns the violin, and the clerk asks, You don't like that either? She answers, I do, but I want something a little bit bigger. So the clerk goes and grabs a cello and gives it to her, and he tells her, Be careful with this, it is really heavy. She takes it home to show her mom, and she starts to play it, and she is good, but she still needs a little more help at playing it and reading music. So her mom signs her up for lessons, and she tells her, I've signed you up for cello lessons, you can have playing, help, help playing and reading music. Octavia looks, and her mom, and starts to jump all around her room, and jumps all around her room. She runs up to her mom, and hugs her, and says, Thank you, thank you! So the next week, she goes to her lesson, and she's there for like an hour or more. She got home and started practicing, and as the weeks pass, she is getting better at reading music she can play real songs. After a few months of lessons, her mom saw a major improvement of her in playing the cello that she thinks that she will make play in the Equestria Symphony, and every pony else that she heard her play thought she would too. After a few more days, she was practicing her cello playing, and she looked down and saw that her flank was glowing, and the cutie mark of the bass clef appears. She was so excited that she immediately ran as fast as she can to her mom, and yelled, Mom! Mom! I finally got my cutie mark! That weekend was her recital, and she was the second one to play. When she got up to play, she looked at the crowd, and there was a lot of people there, so she was a little nervous. But she told herself and just concentrate on what she was doing. She started to play a classic song, which was at least a half hour. When she finished, every pony started to clap and got very excited. After the show, she was talking with every pony, and the head of the Equestrian Symphony asked if he could talk to her for a second. He puts on hoof around her shoulders and took her aside and asked, How would you like to play in the Equestrian Symphony and at every grand galloping gala? She thought about it for a second. I need to ask my mom first. She answered. She walked over to her mom and asked her if she could play in the symphonies and the galas. Her mom pondered it for a second. Sure you can. Her mom sounded very excited. She trotted back over to the mysterious colt. My mom says that I can. Every pony went home, and Octavia practiced as hard as she could so she could be perfect for her audition tomorrow. She went to sleep that night so she wouldn't be tired and possibly mess up her audition. That Saturday came, and Octavia was very excited. She got up early, and she ran and woke up her mom and said, Let's go to my audition. They ate breakfast and got cleaned up, and they left the house to go to the audition. They got there a little early, but it was okay, so they cold called her onto the stage. She nervously walked on the stage, and she told herself to calm down, so she started to play a classic song she had been practicing for months, and she was perfect. She didn't miss one note. She finished the song. You were amazing, the best I've ever heard in a long time, the colt said. She got emotional. Thanks. Does that mean I get to be a member of the Equestrian Orchestra? 
The cult answers with the best answer ever. You are a member for life. She was so happy, she ran off the stage as fast as she can right to her mom and told her the good news. Mom! Mom! I get to be a member of the Equestrian Orchestra for life! And I get to play at the Grand Galloping Gala! Her mom was speechless for a while, then said, That's amazing! I'm so proud of you! That night, they went out for a special dinner with all their friends and relatives to tell them of the fantastic news. Before they started eating, her mother stands up and starts talking. I lost it. Every pony, my lovely daughter Octavia was recently accepted as a member of the Equestrian Orchestra, and she will play at the Grand Galloping Gala. All of the family was very happy. They all hugged and kissed her and congratulated her. This was the best day of her life. She couldn't wait to play at the first symphony. The next month, there was a knock on the door. It was that mysterious colt. Octavia answered the door and saw that it was him, so she let him in, and he told her, The first symphony is coming in a few weeks in Cantalot, so you need to come with me now so we can practice on the material for the show. So they left for Canterlot that night and got there that morning, and that afternoon they practiced until it got dark. Then they went to bed. That night Octavia was very excited. I can't wait for two more weeks to play the show. She mumbled to herself. The next day they practiced for three hours, and they got to take a break, so she went and got something to eat and just to chill for a while. Then she got back and practiced for two more hours, then every pony went to bed. On the day of the show, Octavia got a little bit nervous. Her fellow players noticed that she was nervous and comforted her and told her that everything is going to be okay. She took what they said and then it was time to go on stage. She looks over the crowd and she saw her parents and the nervousness washed away and they started to play. Octavia never missed a note and she even got her own solo and she was the best any pony has ever seen. After the show, the entire town of Ponyville came to congratulate her. A few years later, it was time for the Grand Gala, and every pony would be there, so she practices harder for this than any other thing. On the day of the gala, she played classy music until Pinky came up on stage and grabbed her hoof and made her play faster. The end.